how you can easily store Microsoft Form responses in SharePoint list. You can also create a PDF document from the responses of the form and store it in SharePoint. First, we're going to go create our form. We'll go to Microsoft Forms and click on New Form. Here you can give your form a name and start adding questions. Click on Add New and then create a question. Select the type text, choice, rating, date, etc. We're going to go back and use a form that we've already created called Training Feedback Form. We have some questions in there of different types for demo purposes. Once we've done create creating the form, we're going to go back and create our list. For that, we need to export our form. You can export the form and import it into SharePoint, or you can also manually create a list to store your form's data. We're going to click on New, select List, and then select From Excel. We're going to upload the Excel sheet And once it's uploaded, we can customize our columns. We can change the type. We can choose not to import a form. We can choose not to import. We can choose not to import a form response column. Once you're done customizing, click on Next. We'll click on Cancel and go back to our list called Training Feedback Form, where we have our responses. Once we have our list, we can start creating our flow and go to Power Automate and select Templates. And we'll look for a template called Record Form Responses in SharePoint. Click on continue and it's ready. Once the template opens up, we'll start pointing our forms ID to our form and we'll change our site address to point it to our SharePoint site. Point the site address to our site and the list name to the list that we have in SharePoint. Next, in this create item action, we're going to go put in the responses for each question.
once you're done entering your responses, you can click on save. And the way this template is right now, once you enter a response in the form, it will create responses in your SharePoint list. It will go and update those responses as a new list item in your SharePoint list. We're going to go test it out. Enter the date. Enter some data and click on save. Click on submit. Once you click on submit, the flow runs automatically and saves the responses in our, in our SharePoint list. As we can see, a new row has been added with the form response data. Now we're going to go and change this flow so that we can create a PDF document and save it with the response itself. To do that, when we apply to each loop, we're going to add another action called compose. Here we'll enter the data we want to see in the PDF. You can have it as simple as title and then put in the response, date response, or you can have it more customized with HTML. You can go to a site called word to html.net, create a table, copy the code and paste it back into your compose action. Once you paste it, just go back and change the enter or whatever word you put in there for your reference to the SharePoint item, response item. Once we have our compose ready, we're going to create an HTML file and then convert it to a PDF. To, to, to do that, we need to use OneDrive. So we'll select create a file action and then select the folder where we'd like to save our HTML files and PDFs that it creates. The file name, we'll just call it ID dot html to save it as an html file and for file content we're going to use the output from our compose action so once we've created the file we're going to convert it we're going to select convert file and for file we're going to select create files id For the target types, I'm going to select PDF because we want PDFs, but you can change it to other file types as well. And once the conversion is done, we want to attach it to our item in our SharePoint list. We're going to point the site address to our SharePoint site, 
for listening to our training feedback list. The ID we see is our SharePoint ID. File name will call it ID dot PDF. You can name it anything you want. And for the file content, we're going to select file content from our convert file. We'll save and then we'll test it. For demo purposes, we'll rerun the same um, response that we just ran a while ago. This will duplicate the item in our SharePoint list, but we'll be able to see the PDF attachment. As we can see, we have an attachment. Once we click on it, go down, select the PDF, and we have our responses stored in the PDF.